Hello everyone, it's Connie Ray from stampityourself.com. Thank you for joining me today for today's tutorial. And today's tutorial is this gorgeous bronze copper looking um, flourish. Sorry, let me just get my flourishing flay phrases um, stamp set. I'm using the um, embossing technique and we're using the bronzing powder which is really gorgeous and it's from the flourishing phrases and it's this big stamp here and along with the with warmth and care from me down the bottom for our sentiment so hopefully you'll enjoy making this um, tutorial I'll show you how to do it and I won't hold you up too long so I'll do it as quickly as possible I've done it on um, vanilla very vanilla cardstock because I think there's still there's nice warm colors here and I liked it on the um, very vanilla as opposed to the whisper white it wasn't very nice on the whisper well I, I liked it but I prefer it to keep the warmth in the card on the um, very vanilla and of course the, the um, copper um, embossing powder from stamp it yourself so I'm oh, sorry from stamp it <laughs> from stamping up so um, anyway I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do this card so normal card size which is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and the mat I've only used one mat and the mat that I've used is underneath here and I've done some embossing on that as well um, the mat is five and a quarter by four and I've used the elegant uh, what do they call it the elegant dots elegant yeah elegant dots I think it's called but I will put the information on my blog so that you can find it and it's um, just very complementary to the actual um, card itself you can see the dots there the embossing on it just looks beautiful so um, they really do go together nicely but I'll show you how to do that too um, well I've already done that so you you don't have to sit with me to go over that but just run your mat which is your five and a quarter by four through your embossing machine to come up with your um, basic mat that looks like that so sorry haven't done a tutorial for a, for a little while I'm a bit a bit all over the shop but we're getting there okay so it's using the for flourishing phrases stamp set get that out of the way and your elegant dots embossing folder there's only one of a kind so uh, but I will put the information on on the blog okay so for the embossing I've actually already gone ahead and done a lot of prep work so that you don't have to do it but I did want to do the embossing with everybody so that you can see how to do the embossing and um, uh, if you haven't done embossing before um, there's some people I'm sure that haven't and of course there are people that know how to do it so please bear with me I'll be as quick as I possibly can so basically you're going to need your embossing buddy and what your embossing buddy does if you run it over the actual area that you're going to emboss it gets rid of all the um, oily um, staticky bits and pieces and you don't want that on your embossing you want clean clear embossing so you just rub that over the embossing buddy on that and also I've got a little piece here for the sentiment so I'm going to emboss on that as well so just putting those aside keeping those there I should say I then have got my flourish and I'm using the Versamark Versamark is very sticky and it grabs really the embossing powder grabs really well on the Versamark so if you really are using something that you want a complete um, embossed look and you want it to be thorough Versamark is really really good to use okay so basically this you're going to cut this out we're not going to do a fussy cut we're just going to do a roundish short sort of cut and I'll show you exactly how to do that in a second to hear that nice sticky sound that's good that means it did a good grip now you won't be able to see it here but you will be able to see it in the sense where um, it's like a oh sorry it's a bit of a watermark oh, my focus is gone that's right it'll come back in a second um, it's left a nice watermark imprint there so we'll leave that one there like that and then we'll just do the sentiment because we're going to do the embossing and we'll do that all at the same time so again using the versa mark oh, sorry using the Versa mark to do your sentiment and we've already embossed the area so we don't have to worry about um, sorry we've already used our embossing buddy so we don't have to do it again and again we're just 
straight up and down. Oh, and I'm completely out of camera, but basically <laughs> the same principle applies to stamping that down. Now when we're doing, when I put embossing powder on um, large surfaces, I like to have um, plenty of embossing powder. So um, in this instance, I'll show you what I do. I get just a piece of, I might just zoom out a bit because I tend to be going off camera and I do apologise for that. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to be putting my embossing powder on. Normally when we're doing a little sentiment, um, like our little word here, we can just get our embossing powder, which we keep, into, keep in a container and just use a spoon and tap over it. And of course, you know, it works perfectly and it grabs all our um, versa mark. But because this is such a, the flourish is a big flourish, I'm going to do it different. I'm going to just do it on my piece of paper, really straightforward, really easy. I'm just going to tip the container onto my paper and I'll show you how to do that. This is how I do my um, big embossing images that I want to make sure that I've covered completely with embossing powder. And this is the easiest way to do it for me. There are people who do things differently, but that's how I do it. And as you can see, it's grabbed it really well. So and if you wanted to, just to be sure, you basically pick that up, tip that back into your little container. So when you're doing sentiments and little flowers and things like that, it's not such a big deal with the ink. But when you're doing big ones like the flourish, which is really lovely, um, it does, you need a bit more room. So I'll just go over that again, just making sure I'm covering all of the image in the Versamark because I really like my embossing powder to grab. And as you can see, it's um, quite, it's grabbed quite well. So when you see, when it comes up and it embosses, it looks gorgeous. I love it, the copper colour. There's lots of other embossing powders you can get other from other suppliers other than stamping up. So don't be afraid to experiment. But I do like this copper one, my copper embossing powder. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and I have just going to take this silicon mat out of the way. I've already gone ahead and I've embossed um, and I've cut my flourish and I've, em em I've done my sentiment and I've made my little flower and I've also embossed my folder onto my mat. So I've already done that but for the purposes of this particular um, demonstration I'm going to just emboss this for you so that you can see how it works. So I'm going to heat up my gun and I'm going to bring it into focus for you and you'll see how the, um, hopefully, <laughs> probably burn my camera to death, um, I'll just show you how that embosses up beautifully, how the copper just um, Because it's really nice when it turns. There you go. Look at that. It's starting to turn already. Isn't that gorgeous? And there you have it. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. I love it. And again, with your little card, your little sentiment. It's pretty hard not to burn your fingers, by the way. But it's all worth it. <laughs> there we go. And again, the sentiment is... Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So, I've already gone ahead and done previously, previously done this. So 
And I'm going to back out a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and what I've done here is I haven't done a fussy cut. A fussy cut is when you go inside all of the crevices and cut out all of the negative space. But I haven't done that on this occasion for this card because I don't think it's necessary. And I will, what have I done with my original? Oh, here we go. Um, because this card looks stunning just the way that I've done it. So basically I've gone around and I've cut all of the outside of the actual embossed parts before I've adhered it to the actual mat. So basically this is what it looks like before we play it down, put it down on the, to the um, mat. So you don't need to fussy cut but of course if you want to fussy cut and you want to go in all there and do it by all means do that if that's what you prefer. So right okay so basically we're just going to put this together now um, and that's the best part of a tutorial isn't it when it all comes together for you I'm going to need some oh, 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 here we go some dimensions dimensionals I should say dimensionals get my cards out of the way because I've got all my bits and pieces everywhere okay so with my dimensionals for the mat I like to, um, with my mat, I like to bring my dimensionals in a little bit. I don't like them right on the edge because I, I don't know why. They just I, they just bother me. I don't know why, but I just feel that it's better when you bring your dimensionals in a bit. Let me just get up a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm putting my dimensionals um, in, just a little bit in, about half an inch in, I think. And hello to all the new subscribers. Wow, I was really quite impressed with all the new subscribers I have received. And I'm really, really happy to have people on board, learning and enjoying themselves, doing some wonderful, creative, artistic timeout things. It's just not enough time out in the world, if you ask me. Okay, so that's just been popped on to your card. And it is really pretty, isn't it? Okay, and then again with your um, your flourish, again I've used dimensionals to pop it up and I've put them kind of in a line up the back of it, like yay, like that. Okay, but the other thing I did too was I put a little bit of um, glue just on this part here because I like it. I didn't like it sticking up it annoyed me sticking up and it didn't look right so just do that and while you're taking off your dimensionals and your sorry your back of your dimensional sticky bits you can it will oh, partially dry and then you can stick it down just be careful not to get it on the other side of your on the wrong side of your image because that wouldn't look very pretty at all okay so the placement is obviously quite simple it's not a hard card to do at all but it is definitely stunning it's very pretty yes so I've got more subscribers so I am kind of really happy about that I've got to get to a thousand Woohoo! that's a lot of cards <laughs> no not really it's a lot of fun. It's hard coming up with designs though sometimes when your creative streak decides not to play. Okay, so there we have it. That's your gorgeous embossed flourish in the copper. It is really pretty, isn't it? Gosh, it's lovely. Okay, and then again, we're going to put some dimensionals behind this little sentiment. Just to... I wouldn't put any more than that. You don't need that many, you don't need that much height on it, but you don't want it to be too flat either. So and just um, you notice I've put the this is about half an inch, let me see. That's a three quarters of an inch width. So you can um, go with that. And I've left a little bit of a space here because we're going to pop a little flower on there. So and again, I'm moving it in a little bit, putting it under the flourish. There we go. And then I've made a little flower 
using um, this small punch and I've also used some embossed um, with the elegant dots vellum. I've already had it in Boston. I've been doing it using, I use little flowers out of this all the time. I or just do extras and I have them sitting there. So I've made a little flower and I put a um, uh, rhinestone in the middle. So I'm just looking for my glue dots. Here they are. Pop a little glue dot on the back and you just make a little flower. You put two punches of this little flower. Can you see that without it zooming out? Is it going to be annoying? Oh, there you go. So I've made, um, because it's embossed, it looks really cute, doesn't it? So you punch out two little flowers and you put them um, opposite each end. So you make a little flower, put them together with the glue dot. Really easy, really cute. And then we're just going to pop that there, just next to our sentiment. So that, there we go. Our sentiment has got, oh, <laughs> the rhinestone decided to jump out of the party. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Okay, just making that pop up a little bit. And then I've obviously also put on some rhinestones in various areas. And the areas that I've actually placed them, I have actually placed them, and I do place my. Um, my designs or my creations um, in a particular way because I like the flow that they come with and, and the way that I put them. So I have put the my done my oh sorry my rhinestones in a particular order and it's really around the flowers here as you can see. So it's kind of flowing down a bit. I like it. I I know it's kind of weird but that's something that I, I do do and I do like to make sure that there is still flow with everything that I do. It's probably just a weird thing. It's probably just me. <laughs> so I put one up the top there, up near the branch. And we put one down here, near this little flower. And one, I've got these stuck on here, mind you. Um, what about, about here, I'd say. Uh, yeah, down there looks good. And then one more up here. There you go. So that just comes up looking quite lovely, doesn't it? It's a very elegant card and it's very pretty. And I think you could change this sentiment to obviously to whatever you like. It could be a nice wedding card, a nice happy birthday card, it could even be a sympathy card. There's lots of options I think for this one. Well, I like to create lots of options with all the, the stuff that I make. So anyway, look, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I look forward to um, having more subscribers and I look forward to uploading a new tutorial that you will enjoy and you will um, have fun creating with me. And anything that you need that I've used today from Stamp It, stamp it Yes, I keep getting stamping up and stamp it yourself confused in my words. Um, yeah, anything that you need from stamping up, you can go straight up to the bar up the top and you can go straight to my shop and you can purchase any of these, no matter where you live in Australia. You can't, if you're from overseas, obviously you've got your resource overseas because there's stamping up demonstrators overseas, obviously, as well. Um, so if you're in Australia, you can purchase it online 24-7 shop purchase it check out just do what everybody else does like a normal online shop and then you can go ahead and you can create this gorgeous card so thank you very much for joining me and i will see you soon with a new tutorial and do have a great week today is sunday here um, so i do hope that um, you have a good week and i will speak to you and have a new tutorial for you soon and thank you very much for joining bye for now